Hey guys, Mark here with another fragrance review. This time let's tackle the niche house of L'Artisan Parfumeur. This guy in front of me is actually one of my favorites from the L'Artisan Parfumeur brand. I would say probably top three this guy would be in the mix. And also one of my favorite, I believe it's probably my number one tea-based fragrances of all time. I really like what they did with, of course, this fragrance right here called T for two. Now, let's see that I like their brand just because they're a little more affordable as a niche brand. Um, you can find a 50 milliliter bottle of their whole line for, you know, under $100. I really like brands like this and Comme des Garçons. They're a little more affordable. They're kind of middle tier. Um, they actually, I believe they just recently launched their line in uh, Sephora's. So definitely it's going to be hitting a little more noses these days. Um, they're starting to be a little more mainstream. And uh, just an FYI, if you're going to go into Sephora to sniff out T for two, you may be disappointed. This one may not be in store. So let's get to the review and I'll let you guys know a little more about that. Hey right, guys, time for presentation, the bottle in the box for L'Artisan Parfumeurs. T for two. Before I hit presentation, I just want to uh, let you guys know, for FYI, if anybody is uh, looking for vintage juice of L'Artisan Parfumeur and don't really know how to uh, figure out if their bottle is a brand new 2012-2013 bottle or an older version, I have that information in my review of uh, Timbuktu from the same brand, so go check that out. Now let's take a look at the box here and uh, same old L'Artisan uh, presentation for their boxes. This is actually a sticker and uh, that's all your information here on the side of the bottle and uh, this is also a sticker at the top here it actually says um, Vapeur d'un thé fumé gourmand in épicé à déguster seul ou à deux so basically for translation this is basically saying um, it, a vapor of the tea um, it has some smoke, it's gourmandish, and it has a little bit of spice and uh, you can either uh, drink it uh, by yourself or with a partner all right, guys, let's uh, take a look at the bottle. And this is actually the newest presentation for L'Artisan Fragrances in their 100 ml bottles. As you can see here, a sticker that says uh, the type of fragrance you have, T for two, and the logo of the actual fragrance. Now, your batch code's gonna be uh, on the bottom of the bottle in black. Mine's right here, kind of scratched off a little bit. Um, this is L'Artisan Parfumeur's logo on top of this really heavy cap. Let's take a look at the sprayer. Sprayers for L'Artisan Parfumeur are okay. Um, they're decent, they're just standard. And as you can see here, just a small mist of juice. So let's get to the review of L'Artisan's T for Two. All right guys, time to tackle bottle sizes for T for Two. It comes in the standard bottle sizes, 1.7 ounce, 3.4 ounce bottles. This guy right here is actually the 3.4 ounce. Um, retail price for L'Artisan Parfumeur fragrances, they can go from $85 American right up to $150 American. Uh, depending where you purchase it. Now, uh, let's tackle the whole Sephora thing about T for Two. This fragrance, of course, has been discontinued a few years ago. Um, I'm sure you heard a couple rumbles on the blogs or on base notes or even uh, your favorite YouTube reviewer reviewed this fragrance and let you know about the discontinuation of this fragrance. Um, L'Artisan Parfumeur likes to do that. They like to uh, keep their lineup fresh. Um, they really like uh, releasing three, four fragrances every single year. And that makes your catalog pretty big, so you kind of have to start cutting fragrances also. They like cutting down their, their fragrances, discontinuing you know older or the ones that don't sell. Um, they also like to get rid of bottle sizes too. And that's one thing that really piques my interest with T for Two because on their official website, they did remove the 50 milliliter of this fragrance, but they kept the 100 milliliter bottle, but it's actually out of stock. So they may re-release T for Two just in 100 milliliter bottles at some point or they might just get rid of the whole line altogether but it kind of gives me a little bit of hope and of course lovers of t for two that it's still on their website it's just out of stock so definitely keep keep an eye out and see if you can find this now it just recently has been discontinued so you may find this on ebay at a reasonable price or at your discounter or somebody that does offer l'artisan fragrances they may still have a couple old bottles kicking around so keep an eye out and you may find this fragrance. Now, it hit the shelves back in the year 2000. It has hit some of my award, uh, top 10, top 20 list. Um, I love wearing this in the fall. I really think this is a fall-based fragrance for me. It just works really well with the dry leaves outside and really a, a great fall-based fragrance. Um, in 2010, when I first got this fragrance, it made my top 10 fall niche at number four. I really, really enjoyed it right when I first got it. 
on the year after in 2011 again made my top 20 niche fall for uh, 2011 of course at number 13 um, so really a fall based fragrance for me a group aromatic spicy perfumier olivia giacobetti um, she has also made zing from la tisane parfumeur actually this is like a one-two punch for la tisane parfumeur like these two make my top three for la tisane so she did an absolutely great job with these darker fragrances now recommended age for t for two this is more of a a mood type fragrance I feel it's, it depends on you the user depends if this is the type of fragrance that you want to smell like um, I would say probably 20 and up just because it's not one of those sweet type fragrances It's more of a mood and uh, I don't really see a teenager really wearing this I might might be wrong depending uh, of course on who you are and what you like as far as a scent goes but I would say 20 and up and definitely unisex I could really see a, a woman rocking this too how many sprays and wear I go one on the chest two on the neck pulse points and two on the arms actually so five sprays total I love swimming in this fragrance um, I love it you can go a little less than me but I, I just love wearing this when I wear this I wear it. <laughs> now let's take a look at the notes now the top notes we got bergamot star anise and tea in the mid we got cinnamon ginger and spices and in the base we got honey vanilla tobacco and leather major players cinnamon uh, tea definitely and that honey note so let's get to it let's sniff out tea for two all right, guys, time to sniff out T for Two by L'Artisan Parfumeur. I'm going to do an initial spray here and sniff this one out. And uh, let's sniff this sucker. Beautiful blend of notes in this introduction. Really nicely done. Now, the first thing that hits you uh, when you first spray T for Two is, of course, the T. No wonder it's called T for Two. Uh, the T is your major player in this and it hits you right off the bat. It's a beautiful, authentic black tea. Now the spices come right in. They give this one some depth. So it's not just tea, there's tea and spices. And wherever the tea goes, the spices kind of linger. Now when I first sniffed Tea for Two, when I first purchased this, I was ultimately highly surprised on how thick this was and how warming it was. Uh, most tea-based fragrances that I've smelt are fairly light. They're really made for mostly spring and summer type fragrances. Really, really light. This one really stands out in the tea game just because of how thick and warming it is. I could definitely see somebody wearing this, you know, in winter. Um, I wear it mostly in the fall, but uh, definitely it depends on your climate. Um, I really think this is probably the warmest and thickest in the tea game. Now, let's uh, dissect this one. Now, the major players in Tea for Two, it's a three-headed monster. You got your tea, your smoke, and then you got your spices. Um, that's what your definition of Tea for Two is going to be. Now, the spice, let's tackle the spice a little bit. They're very grounded. It's more like baking spices than anything else. I really th thought it was like more of a heavy cinnamon cloves, a pinch of ginger in here. It really makes me think of a baked good coming right out of the oven. And that's in the introduction. You think cookies or cake or uh, gingerbread man, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, the black tea is mixed in with this, these spices, um, with some smoke actually. When I first smelled this, I was like, wow, there's some smoke. Now some will call this an ashtray like tobacco. I've seen that on blogs and stuff like that. I was like, no, it's more like a pipe tobacco to me, to be honest with you guys. It's really a, a smooth uh, tobacco. It wasn't really a, a ashtray like in your face. Yeah, it's more of a pipe tobacco to me. Now the tea in this intro, it gets compared to Lapsan Sunshang tea, which of course contains some sort of smokiness to it. And uh, while well, that explains your, your smokiness in tea for two, I guess. And it also is, uh, of course, compared to chai tea, which, of course, with the spices, mostly the cinnamon. I really think it compares to both. Now, the smokiness, I, you know, there was smokiness in this intro. I couldn't really say if it was the tobacco in this fragrance or it was the actual tea. Uh, but either way, you are right. If, it, if you think it's Lapsa of Souchong tea or chai tea, I think uh, it has a little bit of both teas in this fragrance. Either way, it has a humongous black tea note in here. I say, I say it compares to both. It feels like it was all drizzled in this intro with honey, and honey sweetness is authentic in Tea for Two. Really nicely done, and you, you guys know me, I like my honeyed sweetness. Very authentic. There's a small amount of bergamot in this introduction when you first spray this on right off the bat. 
but it's not enough to warrant a, a real mention in this intro. Same thing with the Star and Ease. I really think the Star and Ease really was lost in this composition. I never really felt it. This intro really, the black tea is what makes this fragrance. Obviously, that's why it's called Tea for Two. It's authentic and it really helps out the spices and the smoke. They're both the complementary to the tea and they do an outstanding job of getting blended together in this fragrance. This intro gave you quite a bit. It was actually kind of complex to be honest. And lovers of tea scents, this one is much more complex than what you're actually used to. So definitely a brilliant introduction for Tea for Two. Really, really well done. Really mesh well together. Now let's get into the mid of T for Two. Now once it dries down on your skin for a few hours, your main culprit again is your black tea. It's going strong and it's not going to quit. The spices are right there with him. He's not going to go away. Now the vanilla and honey, mostly the honey, kind of peek through here, giving you a little more sweetness to keep things interesting against of course the drier notes, uh, of course the spices. I felt the cinnamon came up almost tenfold in this mid and that's why that sweetness really helps out which I really adore, you know, I love my cinnamon and fragrances. The mix here together is something I can't get enough of. It's warm, it's sweet, almost edible and cozy. This mid is absolutely to die for. A comfort scent all the way, basically. That's how I feel about T for Two. The smoke continues to linger just a bit here. And with the spices and kind of like that smokiness, it really started making me think of the dry down of Tobacco Vanille. Funny enough, I was testing these two at the same time. You can see I just reviewed Tobacco Vinny. Um, and I just, the light bulb started hitting like once I started testing these fragrances back to back, I was like, there's something. Let's take a look at the note breakdown here. Like, what, what's going on? So those two are really, that was the first time that I really felt like those two were really close to together, especially in the dry down in the mid of this one and the dry down of Tobacco Vinny. Same type of, of feeling here. Now, there was a small touch of creaminess in this mid that I felt. Uh, it might have been the vanilla. It almost make it feel like somebody actually just poured a little bit of milk in my tea, my teacup. A nice touch and it really kind of kept things interesting in the mid. Now in the base of tea for two, the first note that gives way is the smoke. It slowly retreats and gives uh, the wearer a much more stripped down version of tea for two, which is just the black tea, a little bit of sweetness and the spices. It shows how much the smoke really met to T for Two to keep things interesting in this scent, uh, but definitely a, a great base to a excellent fragrance. Let's get to the overview and I'm gonna let you guys know what I feel about this one. Welcome to the overview of T for Two. In a nutshell, this fragrance is a very safe scent, in my honest opinion, a classic scent, really. Uh, it was very warm, cozy. It's complex as a scent, but also pretty linear as a composition. Tea, spices, and smoke make tea for two what it is. It's a comfort comfort scent more than anything for me. It does remind me of fall. I'm just thinking dry leaves on the ground. It's quite cold. You're kind of looking outside a window with a small fireplace in the background burning with the tea in hand. And the tea kind of has like a small scoop of honey to sweeten it. I'm really just that kind of imagery to this fragrance. Some people uh, direct this to chai tea because of the spices, mainly the cinnamon. And on the other hand, people compare this to the Lapsan Souchong tea because of the smokiness. I would say both of you are correct if you compare it to one of these. Some wearers might get a little more cinnamon because it is amped up in the mid. And of course that smoke from the Lapsan Souchong tea, of course the black tea, um, really um, definitely you're both are correct. Tons of tea-based fragrances on the market today smell light. This one sets it apart. It's great for the cooler months. T for Two is really a comforting scent. I catch myself wearing this actually to, to bed or wearing it when I need to concentrate. Using it as a room spray even, um, very expensive room spray, but uh, definitely um, when I'm in the mood for T for Two, I'm in the mood. <laughs> now wearing this around the fall and winter Christmas time, it's just exactly what the doctor ordered. I really like wearing this when there's family around. There's a, you know, the fireplace is burning and we're just having a conversation. People are having coffee and tea uh, after a nice meal. Um, this is just that type of comfort scent. Um, really a great Christmas time or Thanksgiving time of fragrance. Why would you hate this fragrance? Well, it's kind of linear. Again, um, if you don't like the introduction, you probably won't like this fragrance at all. Um, longevity problems. Some people have a hard time wearing this fragrance. It just leaves their skin like this. Um, it will remind them of uh, a spiced candle or popuri. Um, the spices in here really kind of give you that like Christmas time potpourri type feel. 
Um, tea-based scents might not be your cup of tea. Um, this is, again, um, this is one of those scents that you, you gotta like the type of fragrance that it is. Some people might think this as it, more of a room spray than anything. Bottles. Um, T for two is very unique in its composition. I really don't think there's anything really alike from it. It's often compared to Gucci Purim too. I like to compare them both just because they're the two most popular tea-based fragrances. Um, they're not alike. As far as tea-based fragrances, you definitely have to sniff both of them. They both have their qualities, but I believe they're the two best in the game. Um, Tobacco Vani has some redeeming qualities of T for Two. Um, they really are alike in ways. Definitely not an alike set. Five O'Clock Au Jean Jean, also from Serge Jutin, kind of has that comforting type feel that I felt in this one. Of course, a lot more ginger in that one. Best time to wear this fragrance. Again, this is a mood type based fragrance. I really like wearing this when I want to wear it. Um, school, work, uh, before bed, going to the library, again, concentration, um, when I want to take a test or something, I wear this, a very relaxing scent, comforting. A uh, compliment factor, this one's actually pretty high. Um, I was actually really, um, these type of scents usually don't do very well in the compliment factor. This one actually did pretty good, um, which is weird. Um, the only thing that I heard negative about this fragrance when they smelt it out of the bottle was, of course, um, they felt this more of a room spray or poopoo type feel than spraying on themselves, which I totally understand. These type of fragrances will do that to you. My two sets. For a tea-based fragrance, it's actually pretty heavy and warming, as I said in the intro. Very unique. A fragrance that really stands out in the sea of fragrances, to be honest. This is one of those fragrances that I'm not going to reach for all the time, but when I'm in the mood, T for Two just sets it. It's one of my favorites of all time, and I'm really, really upset that uh, L'Artisan is going to discontinue, or d did discontinue this fragrance. I hope that 100 milliliter bottle comes back. I love this fragrance, and I'm saving every ounce of juice that I can. Buy, try, or pass, L'Artisan T for two. If you can find this at just retail or below retail, um, I say this is a definite buy. It's one of the best in the tea-based game. Um, if you like Gucci put on two, it does not mean that you are going to like this as a blind buy. Just to let you guys know, those two are very different. Even though they're both tea-based, you need to watch out. Um, just because you like what you put on too does not mean you're going to like this. But um, really something unique in the game, and I really think uh, this one is a buy-worthy for me. So guys, let's get to the rating system, and let's see how T for Two does against the rest. See you, YouTube. All right, guys, let's rate T for Two by L'Artisan Parfumeur Projection. Seven bottles out of ten. Um, actually really solid for the first few hours, then, of course, turns into a skin scent. Uh, longevity, seven bottles out of ten. Um, I get, uh, any given time, four to seven hours on my skin, a little short from what I want. Uh, versatility, eight bottles out of ten. Actually not bad. Um, strictly really cool weather scent for me. Um, overall smell 10 bottles out of 10 I think this is absolutely gorgeous uh, seasons mainly for fall and spring I wear it during winter days sometimes especially if I'm staying inside it's one of the best tea based fragrances on the market today it's cozy it's warming it's not for everyone and even if you have it in your collection it can be just a certain type of occasion type of scent you're not gonna wear this all the time overall 9 bottles out of 10 mm -hmm.